Hello and welcome to another community tutorial for Cocos 2DX and we're going to be looking at how to read and write simple data. What I mean by simple data is maybe just a number or a string and this can be useful for take a game Glowbreaker for example the, the link in the description to the game will be available on Android soon but on there we track how many levels the users completed and by that by tracking that we know how many levels to have unlocked so the user can play them so they can play the levels that they've completed or the level that they're on but they can't play future levels so it's useful for that and let's just go ahead and open up our project it is like it's really simple to implement when I came across this method of implement, implementing uh, reading and writing data I was surprised how easy it was to set up so let's go to your scene and then I'm just literally not going to put it at the end of that init method you can put it wherever you want I'm going to put user default put asterisk def I'll need to do equals user default colon colon shared user default it is deprecated let's just have a quick look at this Jump to definition. Mm. Do they have the non-deprecated type here? Can't see. It doesn't really matter anyway. It's just, it's just deprecated. So let's leave that. So a okay. And what we're going to do is cc log, and we're going to put percent %d. Put def, which is what we just defined and created. Get integer for key so we're a particular key and we're going to use this one and the key is just going to be we're going to put hello 229922 this is just like an id for that particular piece of data and we're just going to put default value 300 and what this default value basically does is if it looks for an integer integer at key hello 229922 and there's nothing there then you'll give you back a value of 300 which is default which is pretty cool so you can have a default value just in case all else fails so you don't have to implement that yourself then we're just going to do def set integer for key I'm just going to copy and paste this just to get it right it shouldn't have run something so long and it's ridiculous I'm going to put 2000 def Flush. and what's going to happen it's going to create this shared user default called def and then it's going to cc log out what is at key hello 229922 and because I've just created the application so there should be nothing there what will happen is there will be nothing it'll get nothing so we'll print out 300 then it will put 2000 there what we'll do is close the application down we'll run it again and then instead of it printing out 300 it will print out 2000 because that's what was saved before even though the application has closed so just, we're just going to run this um, on a simulator not on my phone actually no, it's going to be resorted below phone so run it We'll see if they're okay now. Actually, I hope it works because I'm using Xcode 6 and I usually just use Xcode, but it's just opened in Xcode 6. It should be okay. Well, I do like the new interface and the actual new emulator names, it is pretty cool. Yeah, just let that compile. But yeah, it's literally that simple. So you just create your definition, your default, user default you can get a piece of data, set piece of data and then just make sure you flush it at the end obviously if you want something a bit more complex or if you're storing something a bit more complex look into SQLite or something like saving to plists which 
Cocos 2 dx does support and there's some good tutorials already on Cocos 2 dx website especially in the forums there's a lot of users that posted stuff about that and while this just compiled us let me just take this time to ask you what do you think of Xcode 6 if you've happened to use it if you have what do you think because I'm liking it so far don't think there's anything bad about it it's not a huge improvement but yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, fine. So if we just go back to Xcode 6, because this is what we really want to see. And if we just quit this, meanwhile, anyway, we'll even quit the simulator. We'll run it again, and what it what will happen is it will print out 2000, not 300, because by default it got 300 before, simply because there was nothing there, but now there is. You don't actually, as you can see, it's printed out 2000, so it saved the data correctly even though the application had been shut down and the emulator had also been shut down as well that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube all the required links for the source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and i hope you have a nice day